Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and to my American audience, happy 4th of July. And to celebrate, Humble Bundle has the locked and loaded um, bundle going on. What you see in front of you, this is one of the assets, this is one of the biggest assets to be honest. Uh, it is the Battle Royale pack. This is from uh, mostly Fresh Can and Grey Bit, or Grey Bite. This is uh, Unreal Engine assets, though you can get them out into other game engines as we will see in just a second. You will notice down below, there are some guides showing you exactly how to do that. We're going to just fly around and give you an idea what you get in this pack and it is quite clearly a battle royale style environment in fact you even have the airplane to drop out of in this one so uh, here is your airplane this is fully animated i do believe uh, so you want to start your game off you can just go wee and into the world environment the impressive thing about this bundle too is it's actually pretty cheap so it's uh 27 canadian which would be 20 usd uh and you're getting quite a bit in it so this is the first asset we're looking at today again the uh, battle royale pack but there's actually a pretty broad swath of assets in this guy so let's go bring this guy over here let's go back to a uh, full screen uh, oh it is full screen all right, uh, and this is another environment pack. This is uh, the airport and hangar environment. If you're wondering how these work, basically they redeem on the Epic Game Store. So if you're looking for environments, this one is definitely uh, a good one to pick out for you. All real world type stuff, although there is a little bit of sci-fi action in it as well. So if you need to have an airport style environment. Uh, so if you're looking at doing a military uh, themed game, there is an absolute ton here for you. If you're not, there's still a decent amount here. Of course, this is incredibly modular, so uh, all the various different pieces can be used together. So if you just need an airport, here you're getting an airport. On top of that, we've got all our various different props available down here that go together to build this environment that you saw in action. So, so far, we've looked at environments heavily, but let's go take a look at another really cool aspect, uh, and that is the tank collection. So there's a number of tanks in this thing as well. So let's go check this guy out. Uh, so these do all redeem on the uh, Epic Game Store. You do have to key them one at a time, which is a little bit no annoying, but it is what it is. So this here uh, is the Leclerc. This is the French main battle tank, by the way. Uh, so it's in very, very um, high detail, you'll see. But the most impressive thing with all of these tanks is this. Let's go ahead and check this guy out in action. And you're going to see just how incredibly rigged this thing is. So here we can see the tank over here. It's actually spawned over there in action. Let's go ahead and run this, and you get an idea of the controls that are actually available for you. So we've got the main gun, so we can shoot at that other tank, like so. I can hit the uh, shift key. So if you ever played War of Thunder or World of Tanks, you got an idea of what you're dealing with here. Uh, but on top of that, you've got full WASD keyboard handling. You have multiple different ammunition types, uh, like so. So, so far, I've just been using uh, the tank. So let's go sniper mode, put some shells into up here. But I can switch over, hit the one key, and we can switch to, oh, so maybe it's the two key. Two key, I can switch over to the machine gun instead. Here you see, boom. So they're fully uh, blueprinted for these tanks. So if you want to have them, they're literally, you can just drop them into your game, and they're set up and ready to go, which is pretty impressive. Then we're going to move on to one of the NPCs. Uh, so we have an NPC available here. Let's go ahead and check the demo map out for that. So this is like... Uh, a special ops soldier type environment. I'll go ahead and run it. You get an idea of him. He again is fully rigged and set up. So you can see him. And he's got the run properties and so on. Running. Jumping. Etc. And using him again. Fully rigged set up as a blueprint. So you these characters literally just grab your character. And drop it into the game world. And then boom. You have characters so it's really simple to use in that regard uh pretty high detail as well a number of characters in this pack we'll, we'll get an overview of the pack in just a second uh next up we're going to show you one more environment uh like so so this is more of a cyberpunk style environment uh and i do think that there's a little bit too much uh mist in this this world but you get an idea so if you're creating more of a rundown dystopian future you get an idea of what this pack is all about. I'm really uh, high on environments in general, so that's why I'm kind of showcasing them pretty heavily. But this is another one of the packs. Again, everything here could almost be a drop-in for an FPS-style game or a third-person-style shooter game. Uh, so if you're working on those kind of games, this one is an absolute boon for you. And then finally, we do have a weapons pack. So let's go over here. Let's grab the map. And here is the demo map of the weapons pack in action. And what you're going to do is find oh actually so this is a single weapon being showcased here all right so instead what we're going to do is go on over here you can go into the blueprint to get an idea of the various different weapons that are available so we've got um 
it looks like a like a Lee Enfield to me. Uh, then we go over here. This is a, this looks like an M1911 to me, but it's been uh, it's been rebranded, so they don't have the names for them specifically. But a number of guns, etc., ready to go. And the reason why I'm stopping or ending on the gun is to this example right here. So what I could do with almost any of these things is I could go here into the meshes, for example, go to the weapons. By the way, these are fully modular, so you can add attachments to them, so sights or stocks. Uh, weapon here, let's go grab the Bren gun as an example. So here is a Bren mesh. If you want to get this into another engine, basically asset, asset actions, export, like so. I'm going to pick the file type. So I'm going to make this a GLB file. Uh, no, B, GLB final. It's a bio, binary format there. And we'll save it into our Godot project. Pick the texture resolution you want. I'll go with the default. Uh, it's going to export it out. Pretty quick process. So that is exporting out a single object, fully textured and all that. That's why the GLB format is so nice in this regard. Uh, and done. So there, we just exported out our model. I have a copy of Godot already loaded over here. Now it's going to go ahead and import in said model. Let's create a 3D scene and let's drop our Bren gun into the scene like so. So that is how easy it is to work with a lot of these things in other game engines. Again, full guides are available down below at the various different options available. So even if you are not using Unreal Engine, could be a good pickup for you. And let's get back to the bundle itself, do a quick rundown of what is here. If you did not know how Humble Bundle works, in this case, it is a collection of stuff, Unreal Engine assets redeemed on the Epic Game Store, sadly, one key at a time. Organized into tiers, you buy a hard value tier, you get all of the things in the, the lower value tiers as well. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble Charity, Publisher, and if you so choose to do, thank you so much if you do, to help support Game From Scratch. At the $1 tier, you're actually getting a decent amount of stuff. Now, this is where we can talk about another aspect of this bundle is duplicates. A lot of the $1 tier, this one, this one, this one, uh, and this one have been in previous bundles. So just so you know, I think we're looking at about 50-50 on this asset bundle that's been in previous ones. So again, I believe this guy's new. This guy is new as an example. So you jump up to the median tier, you're not actually getting a ton more. You're getting uh, the sergeant. This NPC over here, again, fully rigged. Uh, and then this guy here, a zombie army soldier. They're very configurable, so you got a number of different ways you can set them up so you can have an almost infinite infinite variety of zombies. Well, as long as 9,000 is infinite to you. Uh, and then we got the Su-100 and the... Um, the VK-1602 Leopard Scout tank here. And then we go to the full fat, which again is only 20 bucks, which is actually pretty impressively cheap for all the stuff you're getting here. Uh, you're getting a bunch of environments at this point in time. So you're getting the airport that we saw in action, the cyberpunk, which we saw in action, uh, shrubland environment, uh, the mountain village, the battlefield kit, and then the Battle Royale, which we saw in action. The World War II weapons pack, which we briefly saw in action. That's where I exported that Bren gun from. Uh, advanced weapon pack, a customizable weapon pack, uh, 40s office. We have definitely had this one a couple times, to be honest, before. Uh, and a variety of soldier-type characters, fully rigged and set up. So UE5 skeletons, uh, you can randomize them to get different looks and effects on them. And then a variety of tanks, including the Leclerc, which we saw in action, as well as the T-55A, which is completely new to these bundles. The T-90, which I do believe is a repeat. The T-26, which is new. The Su-152, uh, which I do believe is new to bundles as well. It's either the Su-100 or the 152 uh, are new at this point in time. So again, a decent collection of assets. Very heavy military theme today, obviously. But even if you're not into military assets, you've got a decent number of environments here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Uh, seven environment packs. Uh, and then again, a number of tanks, fully rigged. We saw them in action, full control set up on them. All of this stuff is actually very impressively almost game ready drop in, ready to go. Uh, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Unreal Engine locked and loaded military asset bundle. Again, if you use my link down below, you can send me a small amount of your purchase, which again, I heavily appreciate. Let me know what you think of this bundle. And again, if you're not using Unreal Engine, you're using another game engine or you want to get them into Blender or something, uh, the instructions are down below as well as the legality of doing so. So let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.